close your eyes, and watch your breath. All the way in, all the way out. The mind needs a good place to stay, so provide it right here. Otherwise, if it doesn't get a good place to stay right here, it's going to go wandering around someplace else. You know what happens to the mind when it wanders around? It's like a child is wandering around outside without any protection. You get run over by a car, strangers can come and kidnap you. Get into all kinds of trouble. In other words, the mind doesn't have any sense of satisfaction right here, so it looks for satisfaction outside. And it gets little bits of pleasure here and there, but there's no real satisfaction. Whatever pleasures you get, go, 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 keep leaving you, leaving you, leaving you. And that's not bad enough. Many times in order to get those pleasures, we do a lot of unskillful things. So the pleasure is gone, but we're left with a karma. So this is why the mind needs a home inside. This is one of the Pali terms for meditation, is Vihara Dhamma, the place where the mind can take as its dwelling. When you stay here, then you've got a good, secure place. And it's not like you're holed up in a cave someplace where you can't see anything. This dwelling has lots of windows. You can see what's going on outside, but you don't have to go running out the windows. In other words, you see what needs to be done, you know what your duties are, but you don't try to go out and find your happiness outside. That's something too special to, you, to be allowed to depend on things outside. You want it inside here. That's where you can live in the world and participate in the world, but you don't have to go around feeding on the world all the time because you've got better food inside. So make sure that you stick with us every day, every day, every day, this spot inside here, because this is the spot that won't let you down. Other people will let you down. The things go well for a while with other people, but then they change, and they, they change back and forth, back and forth. You can't take any, get anything really solid or secure out of your relationship with other people. So you've got to make a secure relationship with yourself right here. And this is how you make it more reliable, by giving a good, solid place to stay so you're not running outside all the time looking for this or that. And this way your inner relationship can develop well. And you become a person that you can depend on more and more. You develop the qualities of the Buddha, the Dhamma, and the Sangha. This becomes your refuge right here. <laughs>